Anyway, but Results Day is coming up next week and you need to prepare for it because the newspaper was really throwing scary headlines out at us. So I'm going to talk about what is going to happen if you get your grades, what is going to happen if you don't get your grades, what you need to do beforehand, what is going to happen if you get better grades, what happens if your course is oversubscribed and the likely things we are going to see on Results Day. Now on results day you are going to get two bits of information which are independent but linked. You are going to get your A level results which are going to come from your school or college and you can get those in person, email or over telephone, however your school is going to communicate those to you and you are going to get whether you get accepted onto your university course, your college course, your apprenticeship course, but for your university course that is going to be on UCAS track, that is going to update at 8 a. M. Now, if it updates, it will tell you whether you've got a place on your course or not. That is going to be independent of your A level results. So, for example, if you get your A level results and you're kind of like you've missed it by one grade, you might still get on the course and then track will update to tell you that. Now you can get your um, university application um, results before you get your ALA results because they are independent. You don't need to know what your ALA results are to know what track is going to say. So check track at 8 a.m. But be warned, everyone else is going to be checking track at 8 a.m. And the website is very slow and it might easily take you half an hour to an hour to get through and actually check it get your ALA results as soon as possible. Now I'm going to take a slight detour here and explain to you a little bit of how, how universities work. Normally we don't need to do this because it's a normal situation but this is not a normal situation this year. Universities make money by having students in lectures, having students on courses. So say they have a hundred places on a course and they get 200 applicants and they, obviously it's going to be way higher numbers than this. They might sell, send out 150 offers via UCAS. Not all of those offers are going to be accepted because some people will turn them down. You yourself might have got four or five offers and only have accepted one of those. So they might have say 120 people confirmed on a course that only has 100 spaces on it because they expect some people to not get the grades and they expect some people to not turn up. So every single year they give out more offers for courses, they accept more students provisionally onto courses than they have spaces for. Expecting that not all of those students are going to take up those places. Now the problem is this year because we are expecting higher grades, we are expecting expecting courses to be oversubscribed because those people that you know maybe wouldn't have got the grades if they sat exams this year then they probably have got the grades so universities are going to be in a position where they've got 100 spaces on course they've sent out 120 offers and 115 people have met those offers Obviously the numbers are going to be different, higher than that. But I definitely remember some lectures at university where they just booked us into a room that was way too small. And unless you got there 15 minutes early, you were not getting a seat. And we had to do our exams sitting on the floor. Thinking about it now, we definitely should have complained about having to do exams sitting on the floor. But anyway, we are going to see some very, very busy courses next year. Now what this means on results day is that UCAS clearing and adjustment is going to be very very busy. So let's first talk briefly about adjustment because I have done much longer in-depth detailed videos in this in my going to university playlist. Adjustment is when you get better grades than expected. So say you're expecting a three D's and you accepted a place at Oxford Brooks. Instead, you got four A stars and actually you want to go to Oxford. There's a big difference there. Now, if you find you got massively better grades than you were expecting, you can turn down your original place and then try and get a better place. Very similar system through clearing. But this is a risk 
because universities are not going to keep places open just in case somebody better comes along. Universities want those seats filled. So if you don't get your grades and you apply for a priority um, remark or a priority appeal, there is no guarantee that the university is going to keep that place open for you just in case that you get a better grade. They want those seats filled because an empty seat isn't making them any money. Now, if you don't get your grades, you might find that the university just accepts you anyway. That is what happened to me. I got into Bath, I think, oh, I can't remember. I think my offer was two A's and a B, and then I ended up with two B's, C and a D, obviously way off. For some reason, Bath still took me, and I had an amazing time. Now, these days, you've got no hope of getting into Bath with two B's and a C. It's probably going to be all A's. And this year, we are going to see a lot of students who are going with all A's. I definitely had the lowest A-level grades of all of my friends at university. Anyway, if you find that you don't get the grades, you haven't gotten to the course that you want to, you need to go through clearing. Now, this is where the work this weekend starts because clearing will happen very very click quickly basically as soon as the university gets a call to say these are the grades that I've got I want to do your course will you accept me they will look at the UCAS application form and go yes or no they're not going to wait until the next day and two days later until you decide that you want to apply to that university because you've been doing your research and wait for you and keep that place open they're going to fill those places up as quickly as possible so what you need to do before re results day is find out what places you want to apply to through clearing, assuming that you don't get into your original choice of university. Now I know this is a really morbid and depressing thing to be doing this weekend, but if you do not have that list ready in front of you with the phone numbers, the courses you want to do, like the exact details of everything, ready at 8 a.m. on Tuesday morning, somebody else who has those details is going to get that place in front of you. So not only if you're not gonna have your original place at university, but you're not gonna have the places that you want through clearing. Things are gonna go very, very, very quickly. And because of the, the higher grades that we are expecting, the number of clearing places is going to be massively reduced. Universities put places into clearing when they have base on a course when say you know they gave out 100 they had 100 places they gave out 120 offers but only 75 people met those offers there's 25 spaces on that course they would put those 25 spaces into clearing this year we are not expecting them to have space on courses we are expecting courses to be oversubscribed so you have to be ready in the morning with that list of where do you want to go? Exactly what course do you want to do? Um, what combination are we thinking about? What grades do you have? You need to have access for um, them to be able to get onto your UCAS application form so that they can see it. All of the details on how to do this, I mean the much, much, much more detailed videos which I will link down below for you. So, um, Tuesday morning is going to be busy. Tuesday morning is going to be stressful. I will be here with you as much as I can, trying to help you out, answer any questions, but you need to be prepared now. You need to be prepared early for a level results day because a lot is going to happen. Um, good luck, guys. Please try not to stress about it too much because stressing about it doesn't actually change anything at this point everything's been marked universities are making their decisions at the moment um as to who they're going to accept who they're not going to accept um schools will get the results that the exams officer will get the results the day before which will be monday which is very very soon um so stressing isn't doing any good please just go and pick where you want to apply through clearing in case you need to Ouch! This is why in some videos I have unexplained scratches.